make them work easy with next gen small wheel loaders really is easy we have all kinds of features one of my favorite is the powertrain mode so it allows us to ha have this machine feel like different machines and, and really make it your own to what you're used to operate and it's very easy to change the powertrain modes on here if we look over at our display we'll see that we have some icons across the middle here and these are actually shortcuts the second one over this is the powertrain shortcut for torque converter mode so we have a mode powertrain mode on this machine where we simulate the rollout and the functionality of a machine with a torque converter even though we are physically a high stat machine so if i poke that guy it's going to bring up the list of powertrain modes we also have a high stat mode on here and then you'll see single pedal which is new for next gen small wheel loaders single pedal mode so that gives us precise control of our transit speed with the push of a pedal great for your hydromechanical tools and brooms and things like that where you need to control your speed but you want to keep that hydraulic flow up out to the end of that tool and then we also have ice mode so it's great for icy conditions and it's going to help us maintain traction in those slippery conditions now to demonstrate to each one of those let's let's look at torque converter mode first torque converter mode i'm going to hit back home with this icon it gives us that little bit of rollout so as i click into ford i give it a little gas i roll off i let off the gas it gives me some roll forward as i go to neutral we'll stop and then as i go to reverse it'll start to roll a little bit of coast i give it a little bit of gas it'll roll some more i let off and it continues to roll until i apply the brake go back to neutral now let's check out our high stat mode so high stat mode it's going to give you more hydraulic braking, more aggressive hydraulic braking to slow your speed. It's also not going to let you move until you actually depress the pedal, the throttle pedal. So I'm going to click into forward. What happens? Nothing unless I push this pedal over here. So I'm going to push that pedal and that'll start the forward momentum. And as I let off this pedal, we come to a quick stop. And that is the difference. Now, as I go into reverse again, nothing. And then I give it a little bit of gas. Let off, quick stop. There you go, that's high stat mode. Now, if I poke this shortcut one more time, I go to single pedal mode, now it will immediately prompt me, you see here, to set my throttle lock. So that throttle lock is what's gonna give us that extra hydraulic power and the quick responses to our linkage and our tool out at the front of this machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. To set the throttle lock on our next gen smalls, you just reach over to the touch pad, second one down, and you poke that button and it's going to bring up a slider on your display and you can either grab this and toggle it over or you could reach down and use your jog dial and dial in a precise RPM lock that you want. I'm going to probably dial it to 1400 for this machine and it will hold maintain that. Now I'm in single pedal mode so when I click it into forward what do you think will happen? nothing nothing happens notice we're at 1400 rpm so the machine is primed and ready and it's at the throttle lock speed i requested but it will not move until i give it some pedal so as i depress the pedal it will go as fast as i want or as slow as i want almost like a super smooth high stat so what it does is it gives me precision control for when I want to take off quickly or slow down or maybe I'm brooming around cars, I'm in a parking lot, um, you know, doing a sweeping or blowing snow around a parking lot, around other obstacles. Just that precision control to maintain my speed with my toes and maneuver in tight quarters with my throttle at a high level, giving me a lot of flow out there to my tool. And you just heard that, that RPM drop because our auto engine mode is turned on and it drops us down to 800. Now, as soon as I touch anything, of course, it will jump right back up to 1400 where we had set it before with our throttle lock. Single pedal mode, make them work easy on our next gen small wheel loaders.